right. Hi, everyone. My name is Swade um, from Hyper Oracle. We are a programmable CK Oracle uh, protocol. Uh, so we do CK, um, but we understand this is a Solidity event, and we also want to kind of abstract away from CK. So I'll talk briefly about why we go into the Oracle space, um, and then we'll go into what, as a developer, um, can uh, what kind of benefits that uh, developers today um, you can actually reap the benefits of um, CK now. Um, and then we'll show some use cases and examples as well so that you can play around with it. Um, so first of all, um, history of blockchain oracles. There are a lot of headlines that we see here, right? Oracle manipulation. Um, so ever since Chainlink um, has, uh, has launched their uh, mainnet back in 2019, um, we also see a lot of new projects coming up, um, a lot of Oracle projects. Um, to give you a brief overview, um, as of today, Chainlink still holds 49% um, of the market share, um, around like 11 billion of the TBS. The second that's the closest is MakerDAO, which have all the um, traffic coming from their own um, protocol, right? Um, that's around 21%. And the third one um, is from uh, actually a Tron Oracle, uh, Winklink. Um, and the fourth one is Pi, right? A lot of people know about them. Um, they only have 5% market share and they're fourth already. And everyone else just lump into the rest of less than 10%, right? Um, so, and yet we still see a lot of these like insecure incidents um, that ha that's happening. Um, so my team, uh, we came together and think there needs to be some innovation in space. Right. Um, how can we make it more secure and decentralized? Um, that's our mission um, from Hyper Oracle. Uh, so for, um, for us, we have what we call CK Oracle. We'll talk about the definition of that. Um, and we're, we're um, safeguarding the security as well as the decentralization of dApps, decentralized applications. Um, and we're going to launch our mainnet next year. <laughs> Just a teaser there. Um, so how we stack up against right, uh, the staking-based Oracle, um, how it works right now, uh, we can see from the right hand, left hand side, <laughs> uh, left hand side. So staking-based Oracle is Chainlink and uh, most of the Oracle projects um, in the space right now. Um, for security, they are uh, guaranteed by the tokenomics. Uh, it's not guaranteed, but they're secure by tokenomics. Um, and as you can see, CK Oracle, we are secured by cryptography itself. Um, and when we look at the finality and performance, what we mean here is um, because most of the um, sticking based oracles, they are aggregating the results, right? So it takes them one to two minutes to finalize the results. Um, and that's not even talking about the challenging period, right? People can actually challenge the data correctness. Um, and for CK Oracle, um, based on the proof time, um, is uh, within the benchmark is always within 12 seconds um, on Ethereum, which is the block generation time. Currently, we have the newest benchmark, which we can pro uh, provide a proof, uh, proof um, at around like seven to eight seconds. Um, and decentralization, um, it can be a choke point uh, with some of the sticking base Oracle. Um, and because we know that a lot of the nodes are actually held by a single entity. Um, and for us, we are a protocol, uh, we are a CK Oracle network as well. So we have a, a network of prover nodes um, and that would be fully decentralized and our node image will also be open source as well. So anyone can join is permissionless. Um, and censorship resistance, um, again, uh, we, we are fully adopting this unstop unstoppable network model. Um, so that's why we said we have maximum censorship resistance. So, that's what we call like a CK Oracle. Um, so let's track back a little bit what the apps are, right? We mentioned that we want to decentralize as well as secure um, the decentralized application. So this is a very simplified, simplified version and I don't have to go through that because you guys are DApps developers. Um, essentially what we are focusing on instead of centralized database as well as back end that interacts with the front end, we have blockchain as well as smart contracts. Um, the, one of the key issues here is with smart contracts, um, it cannot support complex compute. Um, and what we mean by that is falling point types, right? Um, statistical math, um, heavy compute. Um, and one of the examples that I want to give here is uh, with uh, exchanges nowadays, um, centralized exchange versus um, decentralized exchanges. Um, currently, DEX only has around less than 10% of volume. It shot up to around like 22% uh, 
um, back in May because of like regulatory reasons, right, and overall market sentiment. So there is definitely an inclination and signal that people want to use DEX. Um, however, uh, what's one key major um, major blockers here um, is what we call slippage, and that happens, um, and it's even um, more significant when you have large volume trading, right? With large orders, uh, what slippage is is essentially um, the difference when you make the order, request the order, and when the exchange actually execute your order, right? So right now, when we look at Uniswap, the market leading uh, protocol, uh, Uniswap, they have a famous formula, um, X times Y equals K, which is great, right? However, um, we also know that um, a lot of people might not want to choose to use Uniswap because the slippage is very high. So that got us thinking, what if um, there is a way that we can have a more sophisticated formula or that correlates to the market behavior, more closely uh, really uh, correlated to the market behavior that can better protect um, and have a lower, reduce the slippage, right? And what if we can do that on smart contract, right? So everything can be automated. Um, so for a CK Oracle, uh, we're not only talking about like the price feed, right? The input Oracle side of things or output Oracle getting on chain data, um, but we also help um, and reach smart contracts with more computation. So we do verifiable computes as well. Um, so that's we, what we mean by um, using, um, using CK um, to help with um, the Oracle. So here's a quick slide about what CKP does. Um, I think a lot of us already know. Um, and usually when you go through courses, it also talks about these different values um, as well as properties that can be enabled by zero knowledge. So I'm not going to read through that. Um, and most of us uh, right now in the space, we look at scalability solutions as well as privacy, right? Um, so those are the two major, or attestation. So those are the main like functions um, that we have been applying um, zero knowledge to blockchains. Okay, going back to what a DAP was and what we define, how we define a CK DAP, like a CK rich um, decentralized application, right? How can we have these like really great properties that we listed here? Um, with CK DAP. Um, so essentially the same, right? Um, on the on the right hand on the right hand side um, is the what we have with the DAP, but on the left hand side we can also have like extension of the compute power. Um, and with uh, with this, usually we would actually have to learn how to write CK circuits, right? If you want to use zero knowledge, um, that would means that you have to study cryptography and also study a domain-specific language, right? So that's difficult. Um, so there are usually several questions that you go through, right, uh, when you want to use zero knowledge. The first question is, are you familiar with zero knowledge? So binary, yes or no, right? So yes, great, then we can skip. And then no is, okay, there's self-study course, and then uh, you can go through a formal training, like not PhD, but like a master's degree, right? Um, to understand like the basics of it. And the next question is, okay, then do you know how to write a CK circuit? Also binary, either yes or no, but either way you actually have to learn a domain specific language whether or not to actually write a circuit or code um, or, or actually code, right? So um, there, there are some examples of some of the domain specific language that we have um, listed here, circum, battle tested. We have Halo 2 as well. Um, and then Noir is from the Aztec um, ecosystem. That's a Circum-like um, language. And then we have Chiquito, um, developed by uh, Ethereum Foundation's PSC team. Um, that's a Halo 2-like high-level language. We have Cairo from the StarkNet ecosystem, Leo from Alio, right, so et cetera, et cetera. So um, there are a lot of things that, um, that, there are a lot of options that we have here. But the general trend is we can see that um, uh, a lot of, um, the, a lot of projects are trying to um, develop high-level language to actually attract more developers um, to, to write in their languages and use zero knowledge, right, actually doing that. Um, so conclusion is it takes a very long time, a long process um, to learn about zero knowledge. Uh, again, three to seven years, up to seven years or more if you do a PhD uh, to learn about zero knowledge or cryptography, right, or you might leave the program at that point. And then uh, to learn about how to write C, uh, CK circuits or domain specific language, it takes 
geniuses like you would take around like two weeks and then most other folks maybe two months, right? That's learning the language, not being like proficient in coding, right? And after that, throughout the development cycle, um, you have to debug as well, right? So for a formal verification team, like they take like three to six months. Um, and every time that you change something in the CK circuit, you have to debug it again. So it's like a repeat. <laughs> um, so when we add that up, that's a, a high, very high time cost. So what we propose, post it as what if we can just take that um, and offset that to um, process that in a CK Oracle. So how do we do that, right? It sounds too good to be true. <laughs> so what I'm going to introduce to you, a slide that you should take a picture of and go to that QR code and to that page, um, is what we call a CK Graph Studio. Um, essentially what it is, is a web IDE, um, integrated development environment where developers can write in high level um, language assembly script. In this case, you write your custom compute logic. We help you compile that into a CKVM, right? And then we'll generate a proof for you already. So what you have to do is to tell us what the condition is, and you can also um, trigger a destination contract for your automation needs as well. Um, so that's why I said like today, you can already reap the benefits of CK if you don't know much of CK already. So um, what we're hoping for is a new wave, powering a new wave of CK dApps that have these properties, right? Um, it's new, definitely new, uh, secure, um, permissionless, trustless, um, unstoppable, and you can also build it in hours rather than months. Um, some of the examples that we, we are thinking of, uh, this is a simple one, um, SMP 500. Um, and history has told us, might not necessarily be true in the future, but um, if you put down money on SMP 500, you probably outperform most of the other fund 